In the pan I have about four tablespoons of olive oil heating up. Now I'm going to add a large minced onion. Just going to add just a pinch of salt to help it break down. I'm not going to over season it because the broth is going to reduce and it's going to make it more salty. Anyway, let this start cooking. Meanwhile, in this stock pot, I have eight cups of chicken stock and two cups of water coming to a simmer. The onions are softening, so I'm going to add a clove or two of minced garlic. And I'm going to add a pound of arborio rice. You want to coat the rice with the oil. And you want to cook it for a little bit. You don't want it to toast, but you just want to cook it until you see like a white dot in the middle of the arborio rice. And you just cook it for a minute or two. And I'm not sure if you're picking this up on the camera, but the rice looks translucent. And in the middle of it, it looks like a white dot. And that's what you want. If you were making um, like mushroom risotto, now would be the time to add your mushrooms. But I'm just going to make a plain one tonight. So now that the rice has the white dot in the middle, I'm going to add about a cup of wine. And you just want to cook this until the wine evaporates down in liquid and also that the alcohol cooks off. Now that the wine is cooked down, you're going to start adding a scoopful of broth to your rice and you're going to stir it. And right now you're going to set the timer for 23 minutes. It takes about 23 minutes. And as this liquid um, starts, you can actually see it. It's the rice is giving off starch. And as the liquid kind of evaporates and cooks down, you'll just add another spoonful or ladleful of um, the chicken broth. And it's important that the chicken broth is at a simmer. You want to add it hot. And you don't want to add it too fast. You want to take your time and add it little by little over the course of the 23 minutes. And that'll give you a creamy risotto. It's only been about three minutes and you can see how much starch is getting released from the rice. It's amazing. It's going to make its own little sauce. We're at 21 minutes. I'm just going to add the rest of the chicken stock. I'm going to cook this for a couple more minutes. You can see how creamy this is. 23 minutes is up. What you want to do is add a tablespoon of butter. Let that melt and incorporate in. The butter is melted, so turn off the heat. And you're going to add about two-thirds cup about two-thirds cup of, of Parmesan grated uh, cheese and you want to put the cheese in first and let it incorporate off the heat before you taste it for seasoning because the Parmesan is real salty and all of your chicken stock, you know, has reduced and so that's the only uh, thing you need to be cautious when making the risotto is that you don't over salt it. Now I'm just going to give it a taste. Mm. 
Oh my, that's perfect risotto. Look at how creamy. It's, it's just perfect. So this is what it looks like. Risotto, and I made some chicken marsala. Um, my plate always looks so big, big. But I, I used, I cut this in half. I only took a half a piece of chicken. It always makes me look like I'm a pig or something, like I'm eating for four people. <laughs> well, anyway, this is what it looks like. I've already eaten like half of it. I forgot I didn't take a bite. <laughs> mm. It's good. Well, that's all I can say. It's good. And I like it with the Marsala chicken. I like them together.